Hello friends, today I will show you how to change colors in crochet. First I have to prepare a swatch to work on. I'm going to start with a slip knot, a couple of chain stitches and a row of double crochets. The methods I will share with you today will work with any yarn, hook, size and stitch. You will learn how to change colors at the end of the row and in the middle. Alright, this is the last one of my double crochets in the row. My swatch is ready. Now I want to change the color so that my next row is blue. By the way, I'm using Filcolana Peruvian Highland yarn here, a fantastic wool yarn for beginners to learn by six stitches. Okay, now if we want to attach a new strand of yarn, we have to do something a little bit strange. I'm going to actually remove my hook from the stitch and unravel the last stitch of the row. You will see why in a second. Now let me redo this stitch, but I'm gonna stop before the last move. I have now two loops on the hook and all I have to do to finish this stitch is to grab the yarn with my hook and pull through. We're going to do that but with the new color of yarn. I simply hold my new strand of yarn on the back of my work. Then grab the yarn and finish the stitch with a new color. Let's tighten up these stitches a bit. You can even tie the yarn tail of the new yarn to the first color of yarn to secure it. Now let's move to the second row. To do that I need a turning chain of three. Keep the new yarn in check the whole time. Once I have my turning chain I turn the work over. Let's make a few of them and change the color in the middle of the row. Okay, I now have five double crochets in my second row. Let me grab a new color, a lovely rosy pink one. Let's see what would happen if I added a new color in the next stitch instead of finishing the last one. What I'm doing here is a sloppy standing stitch, but it will show you nicely what not to do when changing colors. Can you see? The blue went on top of the new stitch. It's because when you finish a stitch, the last loop on your hook becomes the top of your next stitch. That's why we should always change colors a step earlier to avoid this. Let's fix it. I will unravel the last stitch to the moment right before finishing when I have two loops on the hook. If I attach the new yarn here and pull through, the last loop is already pink. Now the top of my new stitch is the right color. As I mentioned, this method works with any stitch, yarn and hook in rows, rounds and so on. Always stop before the last move, whether it's finishing the stitch or closing the round with a slip stitch and add a new color there. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please leave suggestions and feedback down below. 
Thanks and have a creative day.